Hello everyone, Realist Dad here. So patch day, 7.35D. Hit him with the D, witch doctor. All right, excuse me for that. But let's get right into it. Let's get with the items. Black King Boar, cooldown increase from 90 to 95. That kind of sucks because you still need to buy it. Divine Rapier, damage bonus decreased from plus 350 to plus 100. No longer provides 25 spell amp by default. Now can be toggled between two modes. One provides 250, which brings it back to 350. Another one provides plus 25. Oh, so you just don't get both. You don't get both at the same time anymore. So you can't... Ooh. Oh, I never thought about a Zeus build with his lightning... I don't think that matters though, it's percentage based, whatever. I asked Scotty, health bonus and mana bonus both increased by 30, okay. Helm of the Dominator, Dominate now grants the caster the gold bounty of the Dominated Creep. Well, that makes sense. I, I think it's, oh, I think it should have been like that, or it should have been like that. Because I don't believe you get it when it dies. I don't think you get any gold for it, so you just lose out. Uh, same for Helm of the Overlord, Javelin. Pierce proc chance decrease from 30 to 25. Well, that sucks because uh, I don't see a butterfly nerf. So, uh, no evasion nerf whatsoever. But, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Maelstrom chain lightning proc chance decrease from 30 to 25 as well. That goes down all the way. Okay. They all got nerfed. Magic stick. Energy charge cooldown increase from 13 to 17. That 13 to 15 for that one. Mana style, mirror image cooldown increased from 30 to 34. Well, that kind of sucks. Null tally. Mana region bonus increased from 0.75, 1.5, to 1 to 2. Oh, so it's 0.25 and then 0.5. That's not bad. That's already something like I buy on every int hero for turbo, so pretty cool. Let me turn this down just a tiny bit. Wait a second. Why do I feel like that was that was copyright material right there? <laughs> Why? All right. Well, anyway, uh, Oblivion Staff mana region bonus decreased from one two five to one. That means all these got nerfed too. But int bonus decreased from twelve to ten. Soulburn mana cost increased from one hundred to one hundred and twenty five. Man. The heroes I play have such, like, trouble with mana that this is going to be out of my, out of my range, I think, now. Because I'll use so much mana, I won't be able to get away on heroes like Slark and stuff. I don't know. That sucks. All right, well. Witchblade Intelligence as damage per second decrease from 100 to 75. That's a nerf. Phantom Province can no longer apply critical strikes when enabled. Oh, so Revenant's got a huge nerf for PA and stuff like that. Well, anybody, but PA is the first one that comes to mind. Shadowblade, duration increased from 14 to 17. Ooh, same cooldown? I think that's same cooldown, too. That's pretty cool. You're going to be invis a lot. Supports are going to be angry this patch. Royal Jelly. Consume restoration duration decreased from 10 to 8. Consume restoration duration. That's pretty crazy. Decrease from 10 to 8. Consume health regen per charge increased from 2 to 2.5. Mana regen per charge increased from 1 to 1.25. Grove bow. Attack range bonus decreased from 100 to 75. Light collector. Movement speed bonus decreased from 10 to 5. Unclouded health and mana region bonuses. Reduction when near trees increased from 50 to 75. Doubloon. When in mana mode, mana region bonuses increased by 50%. When in health mode, health region bonuses increased by 50%. Alright, so they want people to actually use it, because it's garbage. Neutral creeps, don't got time for you. Hero changes. Let's get through this. Ancient Apparition, his cold feet mana cost was decreased from 125 to 110, 115, 120, 125. 
Arc Warden. That's not really like anything. Talents, level 10 talent health decreased from 250 to 200. Level 20 talent, magnetic field cooldown reduction decreased from 8 to 7. It Honestly, it seems like a lot of these nerfs are just to prolong game time. So, they want games to be longer. Uh, Bat Rider Flame Break. Damage per second increased from 10, 20, 30, 40 to 25, 30, 35, 40. Level 1, that's going to be big ouchies. Burn duration decreased from 5, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe not as ouchies. Level 15 talent, Flaming Lasso. Cooldown reduction decreased from 10 to 7. Yes, more prolonging the game with more cooldowns. Beastmaster. Inner Beast bonus attack speed increased from 10, 20, 30, 40 to 10, 22, 34, 46. Mediocre. Bloodseeker, base agility increased by 2. Thirst, self-healing is now classified as a lifesteal and is amplified by lifesteal amplification. That's... That's pretty cool. I think there's some, some broken stuff. Maybe some broken stuff you can do with that. With the lifesteal amp, for sure. Because he, he gets a lot of heal from it already. Huh, I don't know. Centaur War Runner, Hoof Stomp. Damage decreased from 90, 160, 230, 300 to 70, 140, 210, 280. So, what, 20 across the board? Level 10 talent health region decreased from 5 to 4. Alright, so I don't see him very often, but probably won't see him nearly as much. Chaos Knight, Reality Rift, cast range increased from 550, 600, 650, 700 to plus 50 all the way around. Creep damage multiplier on Chaos Strike increased from 1. 1.9 to 2. Probably going to see him a little bit more often, but those are kind of weird. The cast range sucks for supports because they're going to get grabbed in one hit. Chen Penitence. Penitence. Movement speed decreased from 12, 20, 28, 36 to 12, 18, 24, 30. Divine Favor. Bonus armor decreased from 12, 16, 20, 24 to 9, 12, 15, 18. Chen nerf. Never see him. Don't really care. Clockwork. Power cogs. And now 50% of mana burned is added to the damage. Alright. Holy diffusal blade Batman cogs. Crystal maiden. Crystal clone. Mana cost increased from 50 to 150. It was kind of sh Now you're never gonna buy the shard. <laughs> Dark willow. Bedlam. Rolling duration increased from 5 to 5.5. Pretty cool, but that skill just used to be way better, but it was broken when it was better. Disruptor Thunderstrike. Slow duration increased from 0.1, 0.2 to just 0.4 all around. That makes me sad. That hero is mega annoying early, and he's just more annoying now. He's got so much kill potential now. Alright, DK. Elder Dragon form. Illusions no longer apply dragons on hit effects if they've reverted back to melee form. Corrosive Breath debuff duration decreased from 5 to 3. That's kind of big. 15 talent health decreased from 4 to 3. Kind of kind of big nerfs, but I don't think they're really going to take him out of the playing pool at all. Drow Ranger, multi-shot. Cooldown decreased from 24, 22, 20, 18 to 24, 21, 18, 15. Alright, so... She's, a, she's got a pretty good buff. Level 15 talent, multi-shot, cooldown reduction decreased from 8 to 6. So, yeah. Technically, you would need 9 cooldown reduction to match what they changed then so you gained a second she got buffed by a second if you include the talent i think my math's right whatever i'm assuming it's right <laughs> hopefully uh earth spirit rolling boulder damage increased from 30 to 60 that's pretty big ember spirit fire remnant base charge restore time decreased from 38 to 35 that's pretty cool Faceless Void, Bark, 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 Time Dilation, Slow Per Cooldown, Decrease from 10 to 7, 8, 9, 10. Mana Cost Increase from 67 to 80, 90 to 75, 80, 85, 90. Uh, so, early game, it's kind of booty, but most people don't get it anyway, so you'll, for Turbo, you'll probably get it when you're getting levels so fast that you won't just have it level 1 for forever, so that's not, not a big deal for us. Pretty big deal for the ranked crowd, but... Hoodwink, talents, level 10 talent, bushwhack, cooldown, reduction, decrease from 3 to 2. Good, because it seemed like he could almost chain stun you, especially with Octarine. Level 15 talent, torrent damage, knockup duration, decrease from plus 30 to plus 25. Again, another game extender. Lashrak. Also, I apologize for my voice if it sounds a little nasally. It's a uh, allergy season, and I'm getting wrecked, but... 
I appreciate you for watching. Also, if you've made it this far into the video, I, I really appreciate you sticking through it. Um, I just recently enabled the, or, or got, got the membership opportunity. So, um, yeah, uh, you can say thanks to me. You can uh, become a member of the channel. I know the perks aren't crazy right now. I'm still trying to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, if you become a member of the channel, any and all money I, I receive is going to go straight to my family. So, um there might be an increase in toys as well for my princess, but yeah, don't worry. We won't, we don't forget the wife either, but yeah, um, that's my, uh, sell out for the video. I don't do it often, so I appreciate you sticking through. I hope you didn't just immediately skip it because I stopped going through the, the changes, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching it this far through, let alone even giving me the opportunity to sell myself out. But anyway, go to Lesh. Leshrac talents, level 20 talent, or level 20 talent, pulse nova damage decrease from 40 to 35. Okay, so game extending. Lich frost, frost shield, frost air. <laughs> damage rescaled from 20, 30, 40, 50 to 18, 32, 46, 60. So kind of, kind of strong. Not really a nerf at level one, kind of just super mediocre, so... Chain Frost can now select the Ice Spire as the initial target. I don't play Lich, so I didn't even know you couldn't do that. So that's that's cool. Another buff. Life Stealer Rage. Movement speed bonus decreased by 3% across the board. Infest. Scepter cast range bonus decreased by 100. Open Wounds cast range decreased by 200. Okay, so Life Stealer got nerfed into the ground for his abilities. Still a pretty strong hero in certain cases, but Jesus, that's bad. Mars, Arena of Blood cooldown increased from 90 to 195.90. Eh. Level 15 talent, God's Rebuke cooldown reduction decreased from 4 to 3. So wait, cooldown reduction decreased from 4 to 3. Yeah, more game extending. Longer cooldowns equal better gameplay. Uh, Medusa talents, level 15 talent. Oh, I got a sneeze. Alright, just sneezed. I didn't blow out any eardrums though, I remembered to mute. Level 15 talent split shot damage penalty reduction decreased from 10 to 8. So that's a buff, right? I think so. 2% buff, amazing. So if you get, you know, the rapier with the 100 damage change, it gave you... Gave you 2 damage, that's... That's bonkers. Base movement speed decreased from 290 to 285. Nice. I don't know why changes like this take place. Like, are there an influx of Marana games where they walk just slightly faster than people early game and it becomes a big issue? Or late game, they're hard to get away from with certain boot combos. Like, what, what engages a 5 movement speed change for a hero that, I don't know, doesn't really seem to be played often? I think that's total. Like, this is a pretty high-skilled hero, but whatever. Negasite, well, not high skill if you don't include the arrow, but um, I, dig I digress. Negasiren, talents, level 10 talent, riptide damage decreased from plus 25 to plus 20. Game extension, Necrophos talents, level 10 talent, heart stopper, aura stack, duration increased from 2 to 3. 10 talent, Reaper Scythe, cast range increased from 100 to 125. And level 15 talent, death pulse heal increased from 40 to 50. So, slight talent buff for Necrophos. Pangolier Swashbuckle Strike Count Decreased from 4 to 3 Damage per Strike Increased from 25, 45, 65, 85 To 30, 60, 90, 120 So before What is it? 85 times 4 What is that? 170 340 So you could do 340 damage Wait, where? Right? And now you can do Wait, 340 damage And now you can do 360 damage Because of the change so it's pretty big buff and it takes less to do it so rough primal beast oh god that hero's kind of annoying primal beast onslaught damage decreased from 90 180 270 360 to 75 170 265 360 so hardcore level one nerf everything else is whatever what is it 15 10 5 again uproar aganim scepter damage per line decreased from 100 to 85 Puck, 
phase shift. Aghanim Shard no longer increases enemy search range by 200. That's lit. Dream Coil. Aghanim Scepter attack speed decreased from 100% of Puck's attack speed to 90%. Haha, <laughs> get nerfed, Ryan. Get nerfed. But anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the enemy search range by 200 is pretty good, but uh, attack speed decreased from 100 to 90 is just kind of whatever. Puck's like a mosquito, so uh, good to see a nerf to a mosquito as I play PA like every game. You know, I can't talk, but whatever. Sand King base damage increased by 6, strength gain decreased from 2.7 to 2.3. Late game a little squishier, but early game he gets to pop creeps easier. Shadow Feet and Shadow Rays. Mana cost decreased from 75, 80, 85, 90 to 75 across the board. Don't see them often due to the skill gap, I think, in Heroes, but... Jesus. I'm barking. Bark, bark. Mana cost decreased from 75... Oh, no, I already did that one. Silencer, Glaze of Wisdom, Intelligence Steel increased from 1123 to 1234. Ooh, four. Ooh, okay, Silencer's gonna be nasty. I'm down. Snapfire, scatter blast, attack slow, movement slow, and slow duration are now also increased by 50% at point blank range. So, really good kill potential on the cookie into scatter now. You can't move. Fire snap cookie projectile speed increased from 1100 to 1200. That's pretty big too. Sven, base armor decreased by one. Haha. -ha. Well, not haha, -ha, but <laughs> he says a tiny nerf. Kind of sucks for early game, but. Techie, Sticky Bomb, cooldown increased from 13, 11, 9, 7 to 16, 13, 10, 7. I wish it was a harder nerf, because that's a very annoying skill, and I am a Techie's hater. Templar Assassin, meld. Bonus damage increased from 80, 130, 180, 230 to 80, 140, 200, 260. So, 0, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, that's pretty good. TA, TA might be back. I like TA. TA is fun. Terror Blade, Reflection. Reflection damage decreased from 55, 70, 85, 100 to 40, 60, 80, 100. Radius decreased from 500 to 400. Uh, kind of a nerf. Pretty big nerf for level 1, though. The radius decrease is pretty bad, too. Timber Saw, Timber Chain. De damage decreased from 60, 110, 160, 210 to 50, 95, 140, 185. That's really good, because Timbers. Reactive armor, max stacks decreased from 15, 24, 33, 42 to 12, 22, 32, 42. So he's not as tanky at the first level of this, but after, like, going forward, it really doesn't matter. He's still a pain. I, th I just feel like this is... Like, that's pretty good, but then once he makes it to level 3 in turbo, it just doesn't really matter. This is big, though. Tinker, base armor increased by 2, defense matrix, cast range increased from 650 to 700, 750, 800, 850. There was a time where I banned Tinker every game because of how often I saw him, and it, he was like one of the most annoying, well-played heroes to ever face against. Um, but I really hope this doesn't make him appear in some form more often because there are other heroes that really need to be banned, and he's more of a support annoyance now. But works extremely well with heroes like Bounty, um, Slardar, stuff that can keep track of people. Or Tree, because of the vision that his axe gives. But, anyway, Tiny, Tree Grab, bonus base damage decreased from 20, 25, 30, 35 to 14, 21, 28, 35. So level 1, he can't farm nearly as easy, up to like probably like level 3-ish of that skill he can't farm nearly as easy. Pretty good. Don't see him often in Turbo though. Troll Warlord Fervor Aghanim Shard Max Stacks Bonus Decrease from four to three. Game Extension Underlord Pit of Malice Scepter no longer slows speed enemy movement by forty percent. Scepter now increases radius by hundred. I think that's a pretty good buff because the slow is cool because then it gives a chance to auto root again. But the radius being that big makes that initial root massive for team fights. Or for potential ganks. Atrophy. Or a bonus damage per creep increase from 2468 to 3579. Whatever. Talents. Level 15 talent plus 75. Pit of Malice AoE. So it was only 75 before and they gave you 100. But then replace with Pit of Malice slows by 30. So you lost 10% of the slow. But you regain it from a talent. And you don't need Scepter for the slow anymore. 
you could get the so the scepter basically only gives you a hundred more radius that that needs some kind of buff because that just seems pointless that's 4200 gold just for an extra second of root time on like random i don't know that seems like garbage actually so well it's a buff all around but now scepter is pointless in my opinion Ursa, overpower, slow resistance rescaled from 15, 20, 25, 30 to 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so level one, you're not slow resistance. Yeah, you're not as, like, uh, scary level one, I guess. But then going forward, it's just better. Honestly, if we're being real right, right now, I, I kind of forgot that slow resistance was even in this. I just remembered it was attack speed. But Void Spirit Dissimilate Damage Increase from 100, 180, 263, 40 to 120, 200, 280, 360. It's only a buff of like 20 damage, I believe, but I think it should be a little bit more. It's hard to land on good players, and most people use it to run away, so the damage aspect isn't that, that big of a deal. But if you are good at doing the pull-in into that, yeah, that's, that's pretty bursty, actually. Maybe they don't need to buff it more disregard me weaver geminate attack geminate attack damage increased from 20 35 50 65 to 25 40 55 70 so my wife's probably going to be happy that an invisible bug that two shots most of her hero pool just got buffed so that's cool so they buffed the shot of invis this patch this is an invisible patch by the way so if anybody's watching this and you skip through stuff this is the invisible patch it's probably what i'm naming the video um, cause with stuff like this, the three second increase to invisibility in games like Turbo where Octarines are bought for memes, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but that's pretty cool. But the invisibility stuff is just going to be consistent. You're going to be dealing with invisible people more than anything this patch, most likely. The games are going to be lengthened, which means sentries are going to matter more than anything. Ward placement's going to matter more than anything. Because with all of these nerfs, all that does is increase how long the god game is going to take before it's over. So, slight things like this. Movement speed bonus decrease by 5%. All of these things lead to longer games. Attack range bonus decreased by 75. You have to be closer to get those kills now, which means you could die. Prolong games. All of these are just to prolong your games now. So, Dota was too fast. The last tournament showed... Senior Gaben, that the game was too fast. So here we are. Even where heroes that ride cats get their movement speed decreased by five just to make sure when they land that arrow they have to walk an extra one second to increase the game time. But all right, everybody, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you watched all the way to the end, you are a real one. And I truly, truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Really trying to make it out in this world. But yeah. Thank you again, and for old time's sake, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Stand.